Greetings, Sky Watchers, and welcome to the sky above us. I'm James Albury, and I'm your tour guide to the night sky. On June 21st this year, we not only celebrate the summer and winter solstices, northern and southern hemispheres respectively, but we have a neat grouping of Mars, Venus, and the Moon right after sunset. What am I talking about? Let me show you. Earth tilts 23.5 degrees with respect to our orbit around the Sun. Every June 21st, the northern hemisphere is pointing more directly towards the Sun, giving us more direct sunlight. This, of course, makes it warmer in our part of the world. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is getting less direct sunlight, making it cooler. We call these moments the solstices. There's one solstice in June and one in December. Solstice means sun stop, because during the course of a year, the sun appears to rise further north and south throughout the year. When the sun stops its apparent drift along the horizon, that is what we call a solstice. When viewed from Earth's surface at local noon, the sun will appear very high in the sky or very low in the sky, depending on where you live. On June 21st, people in the northern hemisphere will see the sun very high in the sky and people living in the southern hemisphere will see the sun very low in the sky. As a result, we also get extreme amounts of daylight and darkness. For the northern hemisphere, on June 21st is the beginning of summer. So in Gainesville, Florida, for example, we get 14 hours of daylight on June 21st and 10 hours of darkness. In the southern hemisphere, June 21st marks the beginning of winter. Therefore, in Curaçao, Chile, for example, they will see 10 hours of daylight and 14 hours of darkness on June 21st. So check out how much daylight you get on the first day of summer each year. You might be presently surprised by what you find. Now, let's check out what the moon and planets are doing. Okay, we have our sky set up for an hour after sunset facing west. About halfway up in the sky, in the constellation of Cancer the Crab, you'll see the waxing crescent moon just above the dazzling planet Venus. Just to the south of this pair, you'll see the dim glow of the red planet Mars. Mars is much further away from us right now compared to Venus and the moon, so it won't be as spectacular. The neat thing is that on June 21st, these three celestial bodies will form a triangle in the sky. And depending on where you live, the timing may be just right for you to see a right triangle formed by the three. For you geometry nerds out there, a right triangle is a triangle where one of its three angles is exactly 90 degrees. Pretty neat, huh? All right, my friends, head outside and enjoy the extra daylight, or darkness, this month on June 21st. And after sunset, check out Mars, Venus, and the Moon as they form a celestial triangle for all the world to see. Before you go, visit our website, theskyaboveus.org. From there, you can watch previous episodes, listen to the Sky Above Us podcast, get the Sky Above Us merchandise, and you can even ask me an astronomical question that I'll answer in a future episode. Happy solstice to all of you, and remember to keep looking up. <laughs>